What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today we're going to be talking about the iOS 10 jailbreak, another update video on the iOS 10 jailbreak, along with the exploit bounty system and some misunderstandings, I want to clear the air on that, and also an update on my iOS 9.3.3 jailbreak tweak series. Alright, so let's go ahead and get straight into it. First of all, the iOS 10 jailbreak is still on track for the mid-October to November time frame. Now again, this is not confirmed, it's not hinted at, this is just simply an educated guess based on the past releases of Pengu jailbreaks. I wanted to get that out of the way and tell you guys right away without keeping you waiting till the very end of the video. So anyways, now that that's out of the way, let's talk about some very important news surrounding the iOS exploit bounty system. So as most of you probably know, big companies are paying hackers and hacker groups large sums of money. We're talking more than a million dollars for working iOS exploits. So just yesterday, a cybersecurity company called Zerodium actually raised its iOS 10 jailbreak bounty payout from $500,000 to $1.5 million. Now this is for a working iOS 10 remote jailbreak, also untethered. Now the reason this company is paying so much money for this jailbreak is because once they have access to this iOS 10 untethered remote jailbreak, they can actually sell it to a higher up corporation, like a government corporation or something like that for a profit. That's their whole business model. So they basically take the jailbreak from hackers, pay them 1.5 million, and then sell it to another company for more than that, like 2 million, 3 million, whatever they pay. I don't know, it's all private information. Now, what does this mean for jailbreaking? First of all, I cannot see this hindering the iOS 10 jailbreak or the release date of the iOS 10 jailbreak whatsoever. A common misconception is people think that Apple actually wants to kill jailbreaking and that they don't like jailbreaking, but this is false. They do not care about jailbreaking. Jailbreaking was actually just made legal back last year in 2015. So they don't want to kill jailbreaking. They're not interested in that. They're interested in keeping their iOS software as secure as possible to the public so they don't have to release another emergency update like 9.3.5 when the uh, Pegasus hack came out. Now, Luca Tedesco, Pangu, or Taiji, or any jailbreak company, as far as I'm aware, are not trying to release an untethered, fully remote iOS 10 jailbreak, so I cannot see this putting a halt to any of their efforts. Also, Apple is inviting a lot of high-profile hackers, including Luca Tedesco and the Pangu team, out to their headquarters in Cupertino to talk about the bounty system. Now, a lot of people got worried when they read this news as well, but again, I cannot see this hindering the iOS 10 jailbreak or the release of the iOS 10 jailbreak whatsoever. Once again, Apple is not trying to put an end to jailbreaking. No company is trying to profit off of Cydia or anything like that. So all in all, a lot of people are getting worried and making wrong assumptions about the iOS 10 jailbreak, how it's the end of jailbreaking, Apple wants to kill jailbreaking, jailbreaking is never going to come out for an iPhone ever again. I just wanted to clear the air and tell you that that is not true. So the last thing I want to talk about is the iOS 9.3.3 jailbreak tweak series that I had on my channel and it did extremely well. It was very popular. A lot of you guys loved it. So I'm proud to say that I am bringing it back from the dead tonight. So it's not really from the dead. It was the iPhone 7 news, all the iPhone 7 frenzy and you know, all kind of crazy stuff was going on all at the same time. So I didn't really have time to do everything at once. I wanted to get the multiple iPhones. I wanted to do all the comparisons. I wanted to talk about iOS 10.0.2. I wanted to talk about the iOS 10 jailbreak. So many things were just going on at once that I really didn't have time to even be on my iPhone 6. So I just want to tell you guys that I'm actually recording episode 6 tonight for the 9.3.3 jailbreak tweak series. So I will be uploading that video on Saturday, October 1st. So be sure to be on the lookout for that. Make sure to subscribe and turn on my notifications so you do not miss it. You'll definitely want to see it if you are jailbroken at the moment. And if you're not jailbroken and you're on iOS 10, I have been releasing a lot of non-jailbreak tutorials for how to get GBA, how to watch uh, movies and TV shows. And I have a lot more non-jailbreak tutorials coming up because I know my audience is pretty much split in half now with people that are jailbroken and, and are not jailbroken. So. I want to kind of get videos out there for everybody. So that's why I'm releasing those non jailbreak videos as well. It's not like I un jailbroke or anything like that. I'm still going to be releasing jailbreak videos in the future. So that's pretty much going to do it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This is my fourth, I believe my fourth update video on the iOS 10 jailbreak. So be sure to subscribe for future updates. I'm very up to date on this stuff. I really try to bring you guys the latest and greatest to do with jailbreaking. So be sure to subscribe, turn on my notifications, click that little bell down there next to the subscribe button, turn on my notifications so you do not miss an update. So especially for the non jailbreak tutorials I've been doing, a lot of those uh, certificates are being revoked. So you definitely want to get in on this stuff while it's fresh. So also be sure to follow me on Twitter. Stuff that happens, news breaks actually quicker on Twitter since I don't have to upload a video, record it, edit it, all that stuff. I can just tweet it on Twitter. So be sure to go ahead and follow me over there as well. So thank you guys so much again for watching and I will see you soon.